Hello everybody, this is Chris, and welcome back to Game Domain. As of July 2021, the final fighter in DLC pack number 2 of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is yet to be announced. We all have our hopes as to who the final fighter might be. Could it be Crash, or even Waluigi? While these two are perfectly reasonable predictions for fighters, there are plenty of others we'd like to see in the game that aren't as likely to make the cut. In this video, we're going to be going over 5 unlikely picks that we'd love to see as the last DLC character in Smash Ultimate. The only rule for this video is that the character has to originate from a video game. Sakurai has gone on record saying characters originating from other media can't make the cut, even if they do have video game appearances later down the line. With that said, sorry Goku, we will not be seeing you in this top 5. With that out of the way, let's discuss our 5th pick for a character we want to see in Smash, but no, probably won't make the cut. Number 5, Gina. If you asked me a year ago, I'd say Gino would be one of the most obvious picks for Smash Ultimate DLC. However, this dream did die on December 17th, 2020, when Gino was announced as a Mii Fighter costume. It's not like this makes it physically impossible for him to be included in Smash, but there has never been a DLC character that also has been a Mii Fighter costume in the same game. If Gino were to be added, it would break a tradition, which is what makes the addition so unlikely. Despite this, we would still love to see Gino in Smash if there actually was a good chance he would be added. There's a large group of fans who would love to see this iconic character from a fantastic game as a playable character in Smash Brothers. Number 4, Angry Birds. Despite being from a mobile game, the Angry Birds are one of the most iconic quote video game unquote characters of all time. Angry Birds is one of the greatest and most respected mobile games of all time, which is part of why it's so popular. Although this is an incredibly unlikely pick because Sakurai would most likely not look for a character originating from a mobile game, the Angry Birds would be a fantastic addition that would undoubtedly break the internet, much like Steve from Minecraft did. We won't go too in depth on how the character would work, but off the top of my head the actual character would be the slingshot and the different moves would utilize different birds. The slingshot wouldn't be present at all times, like when the bomb comes out and just self-destructs, but it would be the base of the character. Number 3 Sora. I've personally never played a Kingdom Hearts game. Chris going off script now, I have played Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, and they are all fantastic games and I definitely recommend them. Back to the script. But so many people I know say the game is phenomenal. There is such a devout group of fans who want Sora on Smash. He would make for a great addition that would make thousands upon thousands of people happy. This would be another pick that would just absolutely destroy the internet. However, since the Kingdom Hearts franchise is owned by Disney, and Square Enix develops and publishes the game, adding Sora and Smash would be a licensing nightmare. I seriously doubt Nintendo would be able to add the character into Smash, even if they wanted to. Number 2. Tetris Block You know Tetris, I know Tetris, even your grandma knows Tetris. Because of all the different versions of Tetris that exist, it is actually the most sold video game of all time. More than any of these other picks, the addition of the Tetris block in Smash would resonate with the most people. I know I've said this for a lot of them, but the internet would probably actually break if Tetris was playable in Smash. The only thing is, how on earth would a block be a playable character? There's so many moves in Smash that really isn't a good way to give the Tetris block a usable moveset. What would it do? Just land on people? And then what about all the other moves and the grabs? I mean, don't get me wrong, if Sakurai found a way to make this happen, I'd be ecstatic regardless of the moveset. On the other hand, I don't think that Sakurai would want to add in the Tetris block if its moveset wasn't good or feasible, which is why I'd consider this an addition that is fairly unlikely. Number 1, Penguin from Club Penguin. I'm being completely and entirely biased here, but the Penguin from Club Penguin is the number one unlikely pick that I'd want to see in Smash. As I'm sure plenty of people watching this video can relate, Club Penguin was the computer game I was raised on. The game became such a phenomenon that when it shut down in January of 2017, the internet kind of freaked out. And that's one of the main reasons the Penguin from Club Penguin could never be in Smash. Disney is already extremely strict with their properties, but add on that that this property was officially discontinued by Disney and it's obvious that we'll never see the Penguin from Club Penguin in Smash, which is kind of a major disappointment. Now, I know that Club Penguin Rewritten was published, but that is not owned by Disney, it's a legal recreation of the game, however again, it's not actually owned by Disney, so even though I'd absolutely love to see the Penguin from Club Penguin join Smash's roster of playable characters, it is incredibly unlikely that we will ever actually see that happen. 
What did you think of our list? Do you agree with our choices? Remember, this video is completely and entirely biased. At the end of the day, our choices are based on our opinions. Now that you've heard our opinions, share some of yours with us in the comments down below. Which five unlikely fighters would you like to see? Do you think Gino will ever make it into Smash? Is Waluigi doomed to be an assist trophy for the rest of eternity? If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Subscribing is completely free, and if you ever change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later. This has been Chris with Gandoman, and I will see you in the next video.